Making vehicle repairs for the lowest cost in the shortest time possible is key to satisfying customers. You make decisions every day that can save money and get vehicles back on the road quickly and safely. One of the most common battery repairs is fixing a damaged or corroded battery terminal or cable. Don't underestimate corrosion. Extreme corrosion can cause the cable terminal to snap apart, exposing the wire near the battery terminal. Unfortunately, you probably won't be able to just install a new cable terminal end. Once you cut back the corroded cable, it'll be too short to reach the battery. You'll have two choices. Face a labor-extensive replacement of the OE cable, or save time and money with a battery splice repair kit. In most instances, splicing the cable will increase the overall length of the battery cable, making it easy to reach the battery terminal connection. The repair kit and some simple tools will give you everything you need to attach the cable splice and complete the terminal connection without replacing the OE cable. You'll need a terminal wrench, cable cutter, a wire stripper crimper, and the hex wrench which is supplied in the splice kit. Begin by placing automatic transmissions in park. Manual transmissions should be placed in neutral. Turn off all electrical loads and set the parking brake. Disconnect the ground cable from the battery. Now, disconnect the other positive cable. Remove the cable terminal to be replaced by cutting the wires as close as possible to the old terminal. Be sure to make the cut at the area of the wire where no corrosion is present. Strip the insulation three quarters of an inch from the main cables and one quarter of an inch from the auxiliary lead. Insert the stripped end of the main cable into the splice connector and tighten the locking hex screw with the supplied hex wrench. Slide the insulator sheath over the splice connection. Repeat this process if you have an additional main cable. Insert the stripped end of the auxiliary lead into the appropriate butt splice and crimp. Repeat this process with any additional auxiliary leads. Use the same procedures to repair the other terminal if needed. The positive cable may have a fusible link auxiliary lead. If this is burned out, the fuse must be replaced in addition to installing the new cable. Properly secure any cable splice auxiliary leads that are not used. Clean the terminals. And add corrosion resistant washers to the posts. Reconnect the cables to the battery in reverse sequence, attaching the positive cable first, then the ground cable last. Make sure the cable terminals are properly positioned and tighten the terminals on the battery posts. Use a protector spray to help prevent future corrosion. Check with a voltmeter before and after starting the vehicle to verify a good connection. Using a splice repair kit is a great alternative to time-consuming and costly complete OE cable replacements. 
extend the life of an existing battery cable, and get vehicles back on the road faster with this simple, easy fix. If you do need to replace the battery, remember that batteries can be safely, completely recycled when done properly in the right facilities. Don't forget to remind your customers to recycle their batteries with someone they can trust.